In this video, we're going to review the Ratio Technologies 12 speed SRAM shifter. So Ratio Technologies makes a little ratchet that you put inside your SRAM 11 speed mechanical shifters to change it to 12 speed. Now initially they set this up to actually run on a Eagle rear derailleur, which means you can run a huge 1050 cassette in the rear, which is pretty awesome. But when I saw that they came out with it, I was thinking, I bet that could work with the road stuff. And the reason why is because they actually have a little plastic piece that you put on the uh, SRAM Eagle rear derailleur to change the ratio of it to work with the, the SRAM road shifter. Now back in the day, SRAM, when they were 10 speed everything, road and mountain bike, they used the same pull ratio. Now when their mountain bikes went 11 and 12 speed, they changed that pull ratio. So it's not identical to the 10 speed setup. Now on the road side of things, they actually, uh, when they went 10 speed to 11 speed, they kept the same pull ratio. Okay, so that's why the current setup of like an 11 speed road shifter will not work with an 11 or 12 speed mountain bike rear derailleur with SRAM. Uh, you actually can take like an old SRAM XX 10 speed rear derailleur and it works perfectly with the, uh, the 10 and 11 speed road shifters, which is pretty cool. So I love a mullet build uh, for adventure bikes, for uh, bike packing, things like that. But for fast group rides and uh, for gravel racing, I really hate the huge jumps between the, the cogs, you know, especially when you're looking at like a 10 to 12 tooth jump, you know, that's a 20% jump. So if you're running a hundred RPM cadence and you shift, you know, down to the 10 tooth, that's gonna drop you 20%. That's gonna drop you down to an 80 RPM cadence, which is horrendous, uh, especially when you're already on, on the limit there. So that's why uh, the mullet builds are not good for, for fast paced rides. So I knew the extra little uh, space that, ra that Ratio Technologies added to the, the ratchet, I knew it would work with the SRAM 22 group sets. So I went ahead and, uh, and just basically put it into an apex shifter, uh, switched it from 11 to 12 speed, and uh, you know test it out and see how it would actually work. Now, just as a heads up, the axis rear cassettes, those are not the same spacing, okay? They're a little tighter. So I actually decided to go with a Sensa 1134 12 speed. Now Sensa, that company was founded by some ex-SRAM engineers and they actually uh, make a whole two by 12 group set and everything. The only problem is they don't have hydraulic brake system with that setup, but they make an awesome cassette for it. So I got this cassette from Amazon for only 85 bucks shipped, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna pair this up with a uh, 5236 uh, chain rings up front. Uh, let's put it in the work stand and see how it actually does. All right, so now let's see how it actually performs on the road. Okay, so I'm about to go on my first ride with it, and you can see here it's an 1134. Uh, it's the Sensa rear cassette, 12 speed, and I got the 5236 on the front here. And it shifted great in the stand, but uh, now it's time to uh, take it out in the real world and see how it actually does. And uh, yeah, moment of truth coming up. All right, only been riding for about seven minutes now. I had to stop once to adjust the barrel a little bit. Uh, worked great uh, after I adjusted it. Now I'm climbing, uh, shifted the front ring into the 36 tooth, shifted perfectly. Uh, shifting between all the gears perfect now. It's very, uh, what do you say, precise, I guess you would say. As soon as you shift that button, uh, it moves into the gear, locks into it. There's no skipping, nothing. Uh, it's pretty cool that uh, Ratio Technology was able to do this. But uh, yeah, it's it's been awesome so far. So still early, of course. Uh, like I said, I'm in within the t first 10 minutes of the ride. I'm going for about two hours today, and we'll see how it goes for the rest of the ride. All right, report back soon.
All right, so I'm on one of the steeper pitches we have here. Uh, it uh, peaks out about 13%, uh, I believe, something like that. Uh, right now I'm in the 36 up front, 34 in the back. And it's like, you can just climb a wall with this thing. It's amazing. The range is amazing. Uh, shifting is perfect. It has been perfect. Very crisp. It actually feels more crisp than the uh, SRAM I've been using, but that could be because my older SRAM is, well, old. And so I don't know if the notch is maybe worn out or not. So been riding about an hour now. I had to stop and adjust the barrel twice now but i just built the bike up so that's just some of that tension and the housing uh tightening up so uh ever since i've adjusted it it's been shifting flawless so uh it's just it's a, impressive so you know basically for um you know 80 bucks for the for the adapter there get you a sense of 12 speed cassette which is another 85 bucks on amazon so for 160 bucks, you could be running two by 12 with tons of range and nice close gears without having to go with the expensive electronic axis stuff. Now I've been talking to Ratio Technologies, great group of people there, by the way, that company, uh, very open. They uh, talk about all their stuff. This is actually their first generation of this. And uh, I was talking to Tom with them and he said they may have to change a few things because they found some issues with this working with the uh, Eagle cassette. I gotta shift up. I'm on the fly land now. But he said they had issues uh, maybe with a few gears and the spacing. Uh, so they're gonna fine tune that. So he was saying that while this one may work with the road 12 speed stuff, they may have to make a dedicated like axis and a dedicated 12 speed road <coughs> uh, guts in the future so uh but this one is it's working perfect also wonder too with the spacing there's so limited amount of spacing in the back now that everybody's going 12 and 13 speed i think the spacings are so close that really you can get away with uh, running different chains and and everything else all right, so I'm gonna keep riding and uh, give you some more feedback at the end of the ride. Okay, so I just finished the first ride with the Sensor Cassette uh, and it shifted flawlessly. I was really impressed. Like I said, I had to adjust the barrel adjuster out uh, a couple turns uh, during the ride. Uh, that was just because the cable housing is new and it was all tightening up. Uh, but after I made that adjustment, it worked perfect. Uh, very crisp shifting. Uh, never had that, you know, in between gear clack, 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 clack noise or anything like that. Uh, it jumped each gear perfectly. I uh, was able to get in the 34 tooth here uh, very easily. Uh, went down to the 11 tooth very easily. Um, like I said, there's no hiccups or anything like that. Now, after we ride it for a little while, uh, I'll do a long term review in the future where we'll see if uh, the cables get gooped up or anything like that and see how it shifts over the long haul. But uh, right now, very crisp shifting. Uh, no issues whatsoever with jumps. Um, like I said, we'll see on the long haul how the cassette will do uh, and the wear with that cassette because uh, I'm not really familiar with Sensa and uh, you know I've seen some great reviews of their, their cassettes, but I don't know about their durability. So we'll see about that and I'll do a future video on that. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like it and share it with any of your friends and uh, we'll see you in the next video.